Hey, welcome back to Mark the Fun Fishing. So I'm down here editing a video for Easton and I's latest tournament, and I realized we didn't do a intro or outro. So I thought I'd give you a quick recap of how we prepared for the tournament and what what happened during the tournament. So this is our first tournament for the Chippewa Valley Bass Attack Club. We were lucky enough to get in that this year, and this tournament was on Lake Red Cedar Lake in uh, northern Wisconsin. Typically on this lake, the tournaments are won with smallmouth. So that's what Easton and I tried to target for our pre-fishing days. The first day we got out there, we were finding smallmouth on beds, and we figured it was just the males still up there protecting the beds, and we didn't think that would hold until the following week when the tournament actually was. So then we got out there two more days pre-fishing, like the two days right before the tournament, and we tried to get on the smallmouth again, and we couldn't do it. It wasn't happening for us. We caught a couple small ones, um, but nothing we were confident in for the tournament. So we switched up gears, and we went and looked for largemouth, which we found pretty easy. We were confident we could catch at least five, um, flipping wood and, and, and pitching the grass and stuff like that, and, and throwing in the reeds and the stuff with the chatterbaits. So we did that, and during the tournament, we actually caught our five. We caught our limit pretty quick by 8.30, and I think we upgraded three times. So we had five fish. We still couldn't crack 10 pounds. We had 9.85 pounds, um, and all the, all the, that was good enough for 16th place out of 29 boats, and all the weights were pretty close at the top. I think first place was like 13 and a half pounds. Uh, we did have two fish come off that would have probably got us up around that 13 pound mark but you know that's fishing nothing I could do about it other than that we fished pretty clean and, and caught a lot of our stuff so I hope you enjoy the video and please like subscribe share comment and uh, hopefully we can get this number over here you see it says 54 I want to get that to 100 by the end of August that's kind of Easton and I's goal so if you could get that number right there up to 100 We'd appreciate it. Thank you. Easton got the first one for the day, number one. I guess there was one by the path, right? Yeah.
if you know. There's one under the dock, took us enough tries. Okay, pause video. This is our fourth keeper. Our third keeper didn't save for some reason. Number four. I put this one on the call tag side. Number five, I'm gonna start calling. Hopefully, start calling.
I managed to catch a rock bass on a freaking flipping ring. I don't know, I've never heard of that. So here we didn't realize that the camera got messed up from a pretty rough ride to our next spot. But as you can hear, Easton hooks up with one that he thinks is a giant. Big and big and big which unfortunately big it was not that big, but it did call it. Call it number three. 
Just called one out. Number one. Just called that for that. Just have to save that one for the epic hook set. Flipping rig, Ned rig, chatterbait. How, how do I even manage to do this? Got a call, about a half a pound call. 